The following video presentation was recorded during an actual emergency event prior to 2002. Since this recording, many fire service SOPs and tactics have changed. There are no actors or staged events. Hey, cars, we got in this. Hole one again, didn't it? Yep. You in it? Was you in there? Was you in this car? Just him. Yeah. Nobody else in this car. Okay. I just saw when you hit the pole and I stopped. Yeah. Hey, partner, what's your name? Yeah, caller. Um, might as well call for a rescue assignment. He's jammed in there. The dash is all down on his legs. We can't get him out the other side, I don't think. You smell anything on him? No. Did you? If he's acting like he's either got a snoop full or he's got his bell wrong real hard. Let me put a yeah. coat on. Go with your coat. What's your name? I sit in this car. You'll sit in this car? You will till I get this door cut off of it. How old are you? How old are you? 35. Okay. You had anything to drink tonight? Not much. Not much. Okay. I just sit in the you, car. Yeah, you just sit in the car, partner. It's busted loose. It doesn't have, okay. Uh, you might want to just get in the back seat, be easier on you. Don't you think? You sit and you just sit still now, okay? Your chest hurts you? You hurting in here anywhere? What about your belly? Does that hurt? No. I think God has done, let another one be intoxicated and save his life. It's either that or he's had his head hit real hard because he ain't, he's not exactly what I would call oriented. He doesn't look like his chest is hurt bad. He doesn't look like his belly's hurt. He's got a little cut on his head and he doesn't, he has a mental status change. At least I hope he's got a mental status change because if he's normally like this, we can get that door open, we got or not. Well, it's been a heck of a day for one car wrecks today, I'm gonna tell you. We have knocked them out, John. Look at that. That's that telephone pole. Pole one again. Careful, you're putting the DAT windshield in the, inside the car there. It makes me feel better about his physical condition because if he's acting like this and they had a drop, the man's hurt. Get him on your advice, then. The police is on the scene. Check it at 4. Absolutely. It'll be nice if it goes ahead and pops that door loose so we can get this man out the easy way. Just putting it, hooking up the hydraulic line so they can put it in operation. All right, here comes the fun part. Fun time, fun time, fun time.
trying to. Just don't want to wedge too good on that seat. That's good. That's got him. Uh, you ready? Got him. Uh, see if you can get a grip and turn him as a unit if we can. I got his head. See if you can get his shoulders. Ready. Somebody grab him over the side of his neck here. Somebody grab either side of his neck there. Right. Both sides pull straight up. One, two, three. There we go. Perfect. All right, now we'll take the whole board. Two, three. Man, he's got more glass on him and Macy's windows. Here, let's get this one on him before we put those on him. Okay, just flip it under like that. There you go. That's good. That one, no, we're gonna leave this one loose so I can get him for blood pressure. Hang on, I got the wrong one here. All right, gentlemen, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, we got him now. We're gonna put them blocks on either side of his head. He wants to know what this is all about. He was just sitting in the car, he told me. You're sitting in the car watching the world go by. Hello, hello. Ready? That's all this about. It's yeah. about $180 worth. <laughs> Gentlemen, thank you much, Lee. Sorry I had to roust you out. Now we are. Wait a minute. There we go. Uh, the med trauma center's closed. Take Beats hell out of me. Uh, I'm gonna shoot for Baptist Center or Methodist Center. I'll let you know something before I get ready to leave. Let me get a look at him, see how bad I think he is. I think he's, he's gonna be another deal where, you know, sometimes you don't seem like you can hurt one that's still intoxicated. You get a wallet. I'll have it cut loose for you in a minute. Okay, thank you. What we try and do? We try and find out if you're gonna die anytime soon. No, he says we don't have anything better to do. Uh, we don't. Well, that knee's remarkably intact. We're just doing our job, man. Your tax dollars at work. I'm fixing to stick a needle in your arm so we can have some IV access because you have been in a car wreck. And if I have... I don't know. Sometime before I got here. Okay. Listen to me, Gary. This is going to hurt. Do not pull away from me. Big stick. See what she's doing. You see it? Cool. I, I can feel it what she's doing. Okay, he feels it. He's a little better worried than anything. I ain't been in a car wreck. Okay, you ain't been in a car wreck. We're ready to go to the hospital okay. most near any time. We're taking you to Baptist Central. Because you've been in a car wreck that you haven't been in and you don't, your car didn't tore up, but it is tore up. And we're gonna take you, make sure there ain't nothing bad wrong with you. Okay, Baptist Central Memphis 20 is gonna be bringing you a male about 35 years of age, was a driver of an auto that struck a utility pole. The patient on arrival was awake, disoriented, speech slurred, odor of ethanol on his breath.